Hi everyone and welcome to this short video on Mail Store and how it can help you with uh, GDPR compliance. Email is still one of the most popular forms of communication among businesses and as a result companies everywhere have mailboxes that are full of all manner of information relating to individuals. So how can Mail Store help you take a step closer to GDPR compliance? Number one, it's a complete record of your email communications. So when you set up Mail Store, it imports all of your legacy email, your historic stuff from the mailboxes. It starts archiving everything from this point forward, so everything that comes and goes from, this, from, your, from your platform. Uh, and it also lets you import uh, Outlook archives, like so PSTs. Number two is fast, powerful searching. Now, part of the GDPR requirement is that you're able to provide data in a timely manner. And this allows you, with a single search, to pull up all of your communication that you've had from anyone across the business with a particular individual. Number three ties in quite closely with number two. Mail store searches within, a, within attachments, which is great just generally in an office environment, but if you're trying to establish a complete picture of communications with an individual, uh, it's really handy to know that it's also searching within those, those attachment types. Number four is the bulk export of email. So once you perform your search and you can see what you're working with, you're then able to satisfy one of the GDPR requirements of making that information available in a, a portable, usable format. Mail Store will export those, that, that history to PST, to EML or MSG. Number five is bulk deletion. So rather than exporting, you've just got the option to delete. That ties in with the requirement for a user to uh, exercise their right to be forgotten. The sixth reason that Mail Store is brilliant for GDPR requirements is that when you archive email, it's automatically protected, which means the data that you're working with, you can be certain of its integrity, and uh, that's also helping you protect against potential breaches. Number seven is encrypted archive data. All of your data held in Mail Store is encrypted. That's the message bodies, subjects, uh, recipients, even the audit trail. So if we did get into the wrong hands, there's really not much that person could do with it. Number eight, Mail Store secures your archive data against unauthorized access. So even administrators can't see your messages uh, by, by default, although that can be changed. Number nine is that if you're using Mail Store, you can keep only limited data on your clients. So if you've got, say, laptops out on the road or remote PCs, because Mail Store is controlling the amount of mail in the mailboxes, if one of those machines was stolen, for example, only a small amount of data is accessible and it's very easy for the administrator to revoke access to the archive account, so that can't be accessed. Last but not least, there are auditor features in Mail Store, so uh, you can provide read-only access and most importantly, there's a audit log, so an audit trail. You can see exactly who's had access to your archive, uh, what activity they've performed, so you can be sure, again, over the integrity of the, the, the data that you have and that you're providing to people that are requesting it. Okay, so the countdown to GDPR is well and truly underway. May will be here before you know it, so if you haven't started reading up on the subject yet, make sure you get out there and do it fairly, fairly pronto. If you're interested in Mail Store, that's available as a trial from our website. You don't have to delete any data or affect your live server. You can connect it to mailboxes and, and test the export features and so on. Um, you can grab that from our website. There'll be a link in the description. And uh, thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit subscribe.